We now know the murder at South Lake Town Square was an organized hit, an ambush on a father of three from Mexico who was shot dead in a busy place where people shop and children play. Natalie Solis, first on Fox 4 News at 5 in South Lake. And Natalie, you've got new images of that suspect vehicle. We sure do, and we know a lot more about the victim. Uh, we learned today that he is 43-year-old Juan Jesus Guerrero Chapa, a married father of three teens who were told also practice law in Mexico. Police say that he was here shopping last night with his wife. He had just gotten into the passenger's seat of the SUV uh, when two suspects pulled up in another SUV. One of those suspects got out and started opening fire. Police today still emphasizing that they do believe this was a well-orchestrated, deliberate, targeted attack. Now, police are not releasing the surveillance video that they say they have, but they are sharing these still images of the suspect vehicle. It's a white SUV with a Texas license plate, possibly with the letters B-Y-H, and with champagne-colored trim at the bottom. Police say the shooter is described as a Hispanic male who was partially covered about 5'7 to 5'10. Police say Chapa was sitting in the passenger seat of a Range Rover and was hit multiple times in the torso. Police found nine shell casings. The shots were heard by an off-duty officer in the immediate area. Now, this violent attack happened on a busy shopping night, and it has the community shaken up, especially those who couldn't get to their cars until today because they were so close to the crime scene. Obviously, this was a well-orchestrated, deliberate act involving a specific target. And my dad couldn't believe it last night because I called him from, from here. I was like, I can't leave. I don't have a car. I need you to come pick me up. Cause, like, you know, my, it was a part of the investigation, so they wouldn't... Nobody could come in here. It was all um, caution taped out. Definitely a scary, scary situation. There's a lot of information that's being circulated about his affiliation with drug cartels. I have not been able to confirm it um, through the federal sources that we have. And I'm not, in a, I'm, I'm not in the position to make any formal statement on that yet. Just as soon as we're able to confirm through our federal partners his uh, alleged roles with the drug cartels, we'll, we will pass that information on. Okay, well, the chief did go on to say that the Chapa family is under police protection and would not comment about their involvement in the community, like if the kids were enrolled at South Lake schools. Uh, when responding to a reporter question, the chief did say that the victim's house was searched and no drugs were found. Now, police say Chapa's immigration status at this point is unknown to them right now, but they do believe that he was here legally. Uh, police say witnesses are crucial to this investigation, and so they are very eager to talk to anyone who may have seen or heard anything related to this attack. Clarice? So, Natalie, speculation about the possibility of drug cartels, police are looking into that, but what do we know about his business dealings? What do we know about his work as an attorney? Right. Well, police tell us that he did have some kind of business, and they were not specific, but a kind of some kind of business in Mexico. They say that he did practice law in Mexico and that he may have had ties to a law firm in South Texas. Now, we searched uh, on the uh, State Bar website, and it does not appear that he was licensed to practice law here in the state of Texas. Clarice. Natalie Solis with the latest from South Lake Town Center. Thank you.